Sad. We had a great talk in uh, in the park. Uh -huh. You saw that, right? I saw that, yeah. We had some okay, time. and then after that, uh, we did what? For, uh, we had a drama. Yeah. yeah. We went to the television center. Yeah, this yeah. station. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. We talked to Attila yeah. about problem of minorities yeah. in Vojvodina. I have a question for mm -hmm. you. Was Attila optimistic or not optimistic? Because you had different stories between them. So what do you think? I think yeah, I think he was actually. Yeah? Yeah, he just talked about negative things that happen around, but I think he's a fighter and that he still yeah. has that picture that it can be better. Anyone disagree? No. He was he was optimistic. Completely tongue in cheek. I mean, he was pes to, in my view, he was uh, pessimistic, but he said it all in such an optimistic way. He, he put wonderful uh, words around yeah. it to make it look fun and light, like kind of lightheaded. But okay. the problems he was talking about were truly serious, and a few times uh, his attempts. He was saying, well, do you have a job for me? Do you have a job for me? Talking about his family uh, who are Hungarian, speaking Hungarian and everything, and how, uh, you know, people in, in, in Odisad, the, the city itself, didn't know that there are some Hungarian people speaking the language and they confronted them in a way. So those were all fun, funny anecdotes okay. through which he was trying to say, maybe I, I would do better somewhere else. I don't know, maybe that's Okay, me. interesting. <laughs> I'm very... So there's yeah. an underlying question here, which is, when you meet a Serbian guy, can you ever believe what they say? <laughs> 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 Think about that. <laughs> Anyone else disagree with that or have a different take on that? Yeah. Tonight, yeah? No, I just thought that, you know, he had this kind of attitude, hope for the best, but yeah. be prepared for the worst, okay. so, you know, because mm -hmm. he was really working hard on making things better. And I think, I think he was optimistic in a way that even if things are bad, you know, mm. we always hoped, okay, I think we can do it. Like, we've mm -hmm. gone through a lot of hard times, so okay. why not this time? Yeah. You know, that's yeah. what I felt. Yeah. But when I say, um, when he's prepared for the worst, I mean that uh, I think it, he's been really, really working hard trying to do all that's possible to help okay. people who work yeah. with him. Yeah. So, you know, he's really, really, really doing serious things, okay. very serious approach to right. everything. Yeah. So are there any messages for you as teachers in there? Well, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he probably is uh, amongst the, those people who are trying to build windmills, not walls. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, how to teach our children, our mm. students, mm. you know, to see the, the, the things from different perspectives, not yeah. only from their own. Yeah. And then we had uh, drama classes oh. with uh, also Vladica's colleagues, uh -huh. and it was really fun. So we were thinking about, you know, um, how to integrate and how to use that in our classrooms. Mm -hmm. So that was really fun, mm -hmm. you know, the highlight of the day. Great. And then um, present exchange oh. and oh. Bells, oh. books, oh. and so far it's really nice. And then today this. Gorgeous village mm. and nice story. We heard from uh, the headmaster of yeah. the school, so it's really nice. And thanks, Maya. She was our host today. Yes. 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 We are really having a great time. Good. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to add that I think the best thing about the course is that the format is really unusual. And what's happening is that we go somewhere, like we, we travel around, see interesting places and have conversations that are on the surface not directly connected to something we do in the classrooms or to something we do in our professional lives. Yeah. But if you look closer, you know, you, you draw so many conclusions or you change your mind all the time, you discover tiny little things mm. that you haven't noticed before about the job. So, I think that it really, really helps to, to see a wider picture yeah. of what is going on in education right. and 
Yeah. No, it, it can definitely make yeah. a change, make a difference. I think in everybody's lives, yeah. social lives and life generally. So mm -hmm. that's really, Good. really cool. Yeah. Are any of you keeping some kind of diary yes. and making a note of you know something that I've learned today? Yeah. Okay. And any of you want to give me a, an example of, of what you've written to yourself? Yeah. Yeah. So from yesterday about Attila, for me it was the same, you know, I've always believed in this, but uh, no matter what happens around, enthusiasm, commitment, yeah. passion yeah. can just change lots of things, okay. so Attila was kind of a, you know, an example yeah. of what okay. one man actually can do in the system, not very friendly, mm -hmm. um, and today already we, we've heard a lot of fear tales of the wonderful man <laughs> who took us around the village, and he said interesting things, also in the form of um, a tale, uh -huh. but quite important, I think. He said, our memories are our spirits and our stories. Mm -hmm. you know, mm, something mm -hmm. to think about. Um, or, um, don't sit in the bed check. You know, I really loved it, because the bed check is like a, a small area behind a stove. Ah, right, okay. And, okay. and well, well, I mean, I hope it's wrong, like, it's this correct. It's, 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 it's my perception is yeah. wrong. Don't be shy. Anyway, that's, that's what I thought. Get behind. Yeah, yeah. Get out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this is kind of a safe area. So yeah. the raffle? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Behind a stove. Okay. So if you're challenging the child, it's bad. Maybe insecure. Okay. Okay. So there's a good child there. This area, there was a cat that told you about the cat. Ah, lovely. Take, taking away this negative energy. Okay. And then what I thought that we very often stay in our own zapetchak. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because it's really, really hard to uh, leave our comfort zone. Yeah. Yeah. Again, if you exactly. think about teaching, you know, this don't sit in the head check. Yeah. It could be even more awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Take this, do something yeah. that is unusual, yeah. yeah. like this yeah. course, for example. You plan it down to develop it. Excellent. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Right. Okay. Yeah. Are you all coffee addicts? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And a practical thing, you know, when you you ask about coffee. Yeah. So we were talking about we had discussion on stereotypes yesterday, oh, yeah. and uh, well, a kind of we, uh, we agreed to avoid generalizations, you know, and then for example. If you're talking about typical British food or about typical British, you know, things, then you're closing your students' mind. So we agree that every time someone asks something, yeah. we should begin our answer with, it depends. So uh, very good, very good, yeah. yeah. English tea or... Yeah, sure. And I, I would say that this course is all, but it's uh, all about love and dedication or commitment to teaching on both sides, trainers and teachers. And uh, it's about inspiration and um, um, well, and all and challenges and our challenges and all these things are very good and they are contagious. Yes, lovely. Yeah, teachers are connecting this way. There is a research that Americans have done that 90% of teachers are uh, they they work in total isolation. So you know, no one is sharing anything. So. No peer observation. Yeah. <coughs> so this is. A, Great thing to start with. <coughs> and so there's it, yeah, the CLU approach. So the CLU approach, mm -hmm. content, language learning, uh, yeah. in, uh, content, in language, integrated learning. learning. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I, on this course, I feel like on a course of uh, Balkan studies yeah. or European yeah. studies. Yeah. Human studies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not a language course, yeah. purely language yeah. course. And do you think that your students would be interested in that kind of course? Of course, it's yeah? uh, becoming more and more uh, popular and uh, somehow necessary. Yeah. Can I just ask, are you all teaching secondary students? Or no, no. How many, how many primary? How many secondary? How many tertiary? 
How many aliens? So talking about Balkan studies, this is a kind of a coffee, it's a Turkish coffee, yeah. yes. So the Turkish so way of preparing. Yes, you know, <laughs> one of the interesting questions in this country is to ask what you call it. Because it can provoke a big argument. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, I can see what's coming next. <laughs> so, Tony, what kind of things have you heard the way that the coffee's described? Yeah? Like, well, oh, no, I, I'll ask my um, Serbian friends here to, to help me, but um, sometimes if you're in a certain environment and somebody says this is Turkish coffee, the Serbs can get very, very upset. So this is just some lemon drink for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah.